Welcome to your 10 minute full body stretch. Let's get wiggling. So to start our feet are wider than our shoulders. We're just gonna shift our weight from one side to the other as we twist our hips. Our arms, our shoulders, our neck are completely loose. They're just going along for the ride. Such a great way to start relaxing. I'm so glad you're wiggling with me today. Wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. We'll have a fun time. Now we're breathing, we're smiling. That helps with relaxing. Plus life is just better when you smile, right? <laughs> Shift that weight from one side to the other. Just waking up, having fun with it. All right, so this is my favorite part. So we're gonna slow it down while we still shift from one side to the other. And as you slow it down, it's like instant relaxation. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Awesome. All right, from here, we're gonna wake up our hips just with some big old hip circles. Try to keep your upper body as stationary as possible while you're trying to make the biggest circles with your hips that you can. So we're going in one direction You have your hands on your hips. You can even have your hands by your side to activate your upper body. Or your hands up if you want to pretend like you're doing the hula hoop. <laughs> Which I'm still trying to learn. I'm hoping my six-year-old daughter can teach me. Maybe my four-year-old. Also. So let's go the other direction. Just getting those hips waking up. I wish I was... Hula hooping in Hawaii right now. That would feel nice. <laughs> All right. Let's do two more. And last one. Now let's go to the knees. We're going to do knee circles. So we'll bring our feet together, bend our knees, and we're just going to do circles in one direction. Get those knees waking up. Now I tore both my ACLs uh, a while ago. Um, if I had daily wiggles, I probably would not. I was so inflexible and stiff, so I'm very cautious of anything with the knees. So if you feel any pain back off, the goal of any wiggle is to not, uh, not push it. Um, as we say, no pain, all gain. Let's go the other direction. So don't force it if you feel any pain back off. Our goal is to relax and smile, have fun, so we want to come back and we can make daily stretching a breeze, make it a fun habit we want to actually do. All right, so let's come up. Next, we're going to bring our feet wider than our shoulders. We'll bend our knees slightly, bring our hands together. Let's breathe in. As we breathe out, we're going to bend to one side and bring, press one palm down to the ground, the other palm up, and come back. I'll step back so you can see a little bit more. So we'll bend. Come up. So we're going to breathe out as we bend. Breathe in as we come up. Breathe out. Press those palms away from each other. Come back. This feels so good on the spine. You can look up at your palm. If you want to work on your balance, you can even look down at that palm. Just a nice little movement for the neck as well. Staying relaxed not forcing anything. This feels so good. Let's do one more on each side. All right. So now let's get to the glutes. We're going to stand nice and tall. Imagine somebody, imagine you have a, a belt buckle. Right now my belt buckle is kind of pointing down. As I tuck my hips underneath, my belt buckle is pointing to the wall in front of me. You should feel nice activation in your glutes just by doing that. From here, we're going to come up on one leg. You can hold on to a chair or table if you need support. We're just going to pulse that leg behind us while we keep those hips tucked, while my belt buckle is facing that wall in front of me. This is so good to wake up the uh, glutes. Our glutes weaken during the day from sitting. And as a result, when they weaken, it's pretty cool. Your body says, hey, this is weak. Let's tighten it up to protect it. So when you have tight hips, that's going to cause your lower back to do things it wasn't designed to do. It's going to pull on it. It's going to pull on our hamstrings. 
So if we can engage this glute, it's going to help relax the hip. Let's do one more, and we'll switch sides. So tuck those hips, come up on the leg, and we'll pulse it back. Hope you're doing well so far. We've worked a, a lot already in our wiggle. About halfway there. Getting these glutes waking up. Waking up the booty. I'm so, so glad you're wiggling with me. All right, let's do three more. Two, one. All right, let's keep going with the lower body so our feet are wider than our shoulders. What we're going to do is we're going to bend one knee and we're going to shoot our booty behind us. And then we'll come back up. Bend the other knee, shoot our booty behind us, and come back up. While you're doing this, think about squeezing your heels together the entire time. You can use a table or chair for support if you need. Even a door frame, I've seen some people do that. It's just a great movement to wake up the, the hips even more. Now you can go, you might be able to go further down, or if you just feel comfortable right here, completely fine. There is no win in comparison. So we're not going to compare ourselves to other people. So all that matters is we're moving, we're smiling, we're here. So bend that knee, shoot the booty behind you. Make sure your knees pointing and going in the same direction as your, as your toes. You can even bring your hands by your side if you want. All right, let's do one more on each side. Shoot that booty behind you. Last one. Awesome. So now let's just go to the wrists. We're just going to do simple wrist circles in one direction. So both my wrists are going in the same direction. We often forget to really give our wrists some love, but we use it so much during the day. Typing, phone, computer, work. So going in one direction. You can even just kind of sway side to side to relax, smiling. Let's go the other direction. Try to make the biggest circles with your fingers as if you're drawing a circle or painting a circle. Just getting our wrists waking up. All right, let's do a few more. Last one. Awesome. So next, let's press our palms down. We'll just make shoulder, shoulder circles. That's hard to say. Shoulder circles in one direction. Wake up those shoulders, stand nice and tall. I like to imagine somebody's pulling me up by the crown of my head. You can even tuck your hips right here. Kind of push into your heels to engage those glutes. Stand nice and relaxed while we do this, We're not forcing it. Uh, let's go the other direction. One side, one way might feel easier than the other. This feels awkward sometimes for me. But that's why you just smile while you do it, right? Keep those palms pressing down. Let's do two more. Last one. Awesome. So for the last movement, this is one of my favorite. Our feet are wider than our shoulders. We're gonna bring our palms together. We're gonna pretend like we're a snake. So we're gonna go slither from one side to the other. So wherever our hands go, our spine goes, our head goes, our eyes go. And this is one where you can just have fun. So you can go up and you slither. You can go really far to the side. We're staying nice and relaxed. We're breathing. You did an awesome job today. I'm so glad you wiggled with me. You slithered with me. <laughs> Hopefully you brought a smile on your face. Keep those knees bent. Staying nice and relaxed, just waking up that spine. If you feel any areas that are tense, you can or, or tight, you can just kind of stay there a little bit. But don't force it. All right, go all the way up. Don't call it a day. Awesome job on your wiggle.
If you'd like to develop a daily stretching habit, join dailywiggles.com for free. Our goal is to help make daily stretching a breeze, something you look forward to each day and want to come back for more. I hope to see you on the wiggle floor. Have a great day.